Oh, there's one fish. Second cast. Are you kidding me? Second cast on the, the cheap whopper plopper. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Everybody, welcome to Backroads Angling. I'm out here at a pond that I hit before, doing some whopper plopper videos. Caught some nice bass. Uh, caught a bowfin. Uh, and I was gonna do this again, and what I found is there's a river that connects kind of to this lake. It's kind of like an oxbow lake, I think. And the river, it's right next to the lake. Uh, it's super flooded. I mean, it's super high. And so where I launched the boat last time, look at that. It's flooded and high and nasty. Uh, so this does not look good at all. This looks really bad actually. Um, I came all the way out here just to do this, so I'm gonna give it a try, but man, the conditions are bad. So what I'm trying to do today is um, compare cheap Amazon Whopper ploppers to expensive normal Whopper ploppers. So I actually bought this little box of five Whopper ploppers. It was only $15, so it was about $3 per bait. And, you know, they're a little bit smaller than normal Whopper ploppers, but uh, some of the colors, they definitely tried to match the original Whopper plopper, so it's a true knockoff. So I've got a lot of different colors here. This is going to be the comparison video, hopefully, of whether the $3 Whopper Plopper functions as good as the $15 Whopper Plopper. Um, you can see right away that this Whopper Plopper, the $15 one, is a little bit different color, but otherwise, you know, the colors match somewhat. It's yellow versus white. Um, but otherwise, they look quite a bit similar. There's a little bit of a size difference, but otherwise. We're gonna see if the function is similar. I've got one tied on to each rod and uh, we're gonna see if a $3 Whopper Plopper is worth having or not. Look at what I'm facing here. Might be a little bit of ground to work with here. Look at how junky it is. And a lot of the laydowns are gone. I mean, there's just tons, tons of trash in the water. So I pretty much just want to make this a whopper plopper comparison video. So I've only got a few other topwater lures. And otherwise, that's it. It might actually be an easier launch than last time. Maybe. Let's see here. Oh, man. I touched it. I don't want to touch this water. All right. Grin. Look at how flooded and nasty this looks. I would assume this might have a negative effect on the fishing, but you never know. Never know until you try. Pretty nice morning. It's been super hot, but we've got some cloud cover. I'm just gonna cruise on in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 10 minutes with each lure and then switch off. I'm gonna tally the, the most fish caught, but I'm more looking at whether or not this cheap whopper plopper functions well. So you can see it looks a lot like the real thing. The colors are a little bit weird on some of these, but I'm not sure the bass really care about that. Here it is, we're in action now. So it chugs a lot like the real thing. I found this on Amazon from a company called Hinsetto. I'm sure it's a Chinese company. 
but man, it looks pretty good. One of the one of the places you're really going to lose quality with a bait like this is with the hooks. The hooks were still pretty decent. Oh, there's one fish. Second cast. Are you kidding me? Second cast on the the cheap whopper plopper. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And he's not bad either. Oh man, he's not bad. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh man, look at him. Second cast, folks. This could be good, actually. Really well-built fish. Really well-built. I don't know what my... God. Ouch, I got it in my hand. Hooks are relatively sharp. Look at that fish. Let's get a size. Look at that. 17 inch fish straight off the bat. Oh, maybe more. 17 plus inch. Very first fish. Look at that. Not bad at all. All right. He's fat. Ooh, and he just soaked me. Gosh, he soaked me. Whew. Well, I just answered a lot of questions. Does the cheap whopper plopper work? It does. It worked quickly. It hooked him well. <laughs> it makes similar noise to the normal whopper plopper. And the fish like it. I mean, straight off the bat. It also answers the question of, will the fish bite when it's flooded? Answer is yes, they will. Yeah, the bait is working normally. It feels just like a normal whopper plopper. I'm gonna cast in with the other one here in a few minutes. I'll see if the feel is similar, but the sound is very, very similar. I mean, even the build of the bait doesn't feel that cheap. Oops, something bumped it, got one. Little guy, never caught a bass out here this small before. It's a little baby. All right, it still counts. Oh, there he goes. Two to nothing. Already in the first round, two fish for the imitation whopper plopper. So, I mean, think about it, you can get the knockoff whopper plopper, you can get five baits for the price of one, you can get all different colors. And, you know, if they work this well, it's like a pretty good deal, I guess. There's one. Didn't hit it very hard, but he got it. Another small one. This could be a good day, folks. So it's three fish already for the imitation whopper plopper. All right, there it goes. So I'd say it's been surprising so far. Knockoff Whopper Plopper is working well. Okay, second part of round one is real Whopper Plopper. One thing I will say is it's a little bit easier, I think, to keep the normal Whopper Plopper on the surface. a little bit easier to keep it up on top. I don't have to reel as fast, but it's just a subtle difference. So I will say that I do like the plopping action a little bit better. Just the feel of the expensive Whopper, the $15 Whopper plopper is just, it's a little bit better, just a little bit. I can tell the difference. Without question. It's just a little bit easier to make it do what you want to do. There's one. Man, the fish might, this might be a really good day. I got him all hooked in the side, I think. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Man, they're fat. Look at the fatness of that. Man, they've been gorging themselves on shad, I bet, from this flood. Look at that. Look at that chunky, chunky fish. Man, he's only he's only probably about 14, 15 inches, but man, he's just chunky as can be. That's cool. Really cool. I thought this flood was gonna be a bad thing. 
and I, so far, am very wrong. There's a real shot at a big fish here today. There's one. Oh, he feels good. I think he might be might be a nice one. He's in the brush down there. I'm gonna end up. Uh, I feel him rubbing. Darn it! He's in the brush. Come out. Come out. Yep, he's in the brush. Oh, it came out. It came out. It came out. Feels pretty good. Oh yeah, he's a big. Oh boy, he's a big. Oh my gosh, he's a big fish. Oh, we got a big fish here, folks. Oh, he's hooked pretty good. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. How big is he? Oh, my rods in water again. Man. Crushing them, folks. I have to call into work sick. Just trying to figure out the logistics here. Ooh, he was not hooked very good. He looks like he's been caught by somebody else. He is. I think he's around 19 inches. Let's get a weight. Let's say 3.7 maybe. 0. 0.65, something like that. Doesn't matter, he's a good fish either way. He's fat too. Look at that. Look at that fish. Really nice fish. Whew, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's get another one like that. There he goes. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Okay, it's three to two. Imitation whopper ploppers ahead, but that was a serious fish. Okay, I'm switching out. All right, here we are. Back to our imitation whopper plopper. This could be an empty round for the imitation whopper plopper. Give it a few more casts here and then I need to switch over to that other one. Alright, still three to two. Imitation whopper plopper. Bottom of the second inning. It's time for this guy again. Yeah, it's just way easier to reel. It just stays floating a lot better than the other one. Lots of fish activity over here. Probably carp and whatnot, but Oh, there's a fish. There's a bass in there. Does not feel bad. It does not feel small. It's tough, strong. What do we have here? I think this is another good one. Oh yeah, he's, he's strong. He's real strong. My goodness, he's tugging my, my boat. We're shooting over there. Look at that. Oh boy, he's ripping drag. What is this? Oh boy, this could be a good one. I don't want to horse it. That's another nice one. I barely got him hooked. I just got him snagged. Oh my gosh, another one in a similar size. Another three plus. Oh man, maybe bigger. Oh, I lost him, darn it, he came off, he came off. That was at least as big as the other one. I mean, <clears throat> he might have been four plus. Hopefully everybody saw that one. There's just a bunch of bait fish on the surface over here or something. The nice thing about the expensive whopper plopper is it's, it's heavier. It's casting a lot further. You can cover a lot of ground with this thing. So it's three to three now. If you're keeping score at home. There's another one. Gosh, dang it. That's another good fish. Oh, I lost him. My gosh, are you kidding me? Another big fish, another big fish. Oh, wow. Kind of surprising. It didn't hook up better. That was another really good fish. All he did was pull drag. 
and then I lost him. <clears throat> There's one. Oh, I missed him. He looked good. Saw his back. So I have to see if he comes back for it. I wish I had a change-up lure. Let's see if he comes back for it. I wish I could throw something else in there at him. There he is, got him. Sweet. I don't want to lose this fish. I don't think he's as big, but he's running at the boat, so I can't tell yet. Oh, he's not bad. Look at how fat these fish are. They're so healthy. It's a nice fish. I mean, oh, there he went. <laughs> not getting a good look at any of these fish. Kind of hard to handle here in this boat. I kind of think that wasn't the one that I saw before. I think the one I saw before was a little bit bigger than that. But... All right, four, three. <clears throat> the real deal whopper plopper is winning. <clears throat> All right, let's switch back to the... bit of a dry spell but could change at any moment I think they were just really on the feed before the Sun came up now they're kind of shut off well as usual I turned off the GoPro to save some battery and the first cast I hooked a fish another decent one just barely hooked him Pretty good. Hey everybody. I'm back in the car. I'm filming on my phone because my GoPro died. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. That turned out pretty good. The whole idea was to compare the cheap Amazon Whopper Plopper with the name brand Whopper Plopper. $3 for the Amazon Whopper Plopper, $15 roughly is what I paid for the name brand Whopper Plopper. And I thought it was a pretty good experiment. So what we learned was, is they both catch fish well. Um, so I ended up caught four fish with the imitation Whopper Plopper, four fish with the name brand Whopper Plopper. But overall, the fish catching was pretty similar. Um, but what I, I started to realize as I used it more and more is that I didn't want to put down the name brand Whopper Plopper. I wanted to keep fishing it instead of the Amazon Whopper Plopper. Even though the action's pretty similar and, and everything, it's just, there's something about the name brand Whopper Plopper that just feels better. It stays on plane better. You don't have to reel it um, at, a, at the perfect speed to get it to, to do the plopping. And if you, whether you reel fast or slow, the name brand Whopper Plopper will do its thing. But it's just the overall feel of the name brand Whopper Plopper was better. That being said, if you're tight on money and you don't want to go around spending 15 bucks on Whopper Ploppers, especially if you're going to be in a lot of cover where you could lose them and things like that, I think the $3 Amazon Whopper Plopper is the way to go. I mean, uh, some of these Amazon baits can be really good, and in this case, I think that's the case. It's a really good bait. It seems pretty well built for 3 bucks. I mean, it's it seems like a steal. So, the results of the challenge, uh, cheap Amazon Whopper Plopper versus name brand Whopper Plopper, it was tied in total fish catches, but I give the advantage to the name brand Whopper Plopper because it just performs just a little bit better. So the name brand Whopper Plopper wins this one. Not by a huge margin though, by a small margin, okay? Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. If you wanna see more things like this, I can do more challenge videos. Backroads, same thing, hoo hoo.